Here's a little lemongrass. He's got beautiful little leafies. Look at this beautiful hair. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful hairs. Um, but not uh, a second sprout or anything. I don't know if there's another one going to come up or not. Nothing in there. <laughs> Nothing by the side. Nothing. But anyway, he's looking healthy. He's looking pretty good. Look at the hairsies. <laughs> We're going for walkies, just saying goodbye to Donkey in the background there, and there's Emma, and we're going to go and see Nicholas, bringing him ice cream and cherries. <laughs> Hopefully he saves some for Melly. she's only going to be back in a week or so. Um, yeah, who knows, there's Emma, she's so happy, she loves going for walkies. And it's a lovely, lovely weather. It's just had, um, we've just had a big downpour of rain, like a torrential downpour of rain about an hour ago. So it's nice and cool now. It's not too hot. I'm with Nicholas and Emma's come along. We're having coffee. And look at this beautiful floor terrace he's made. And he's painted his pillows. Beautiful. So I want to do the same as this. And he says it's easy, so I can manage. It's very, very simple. So it'll be in keeping. <laughs> I like it. Emma's chewing a bone. <laughs> happy, happy dog. And this is pomegranate tree. That's what the flowers look like. This is a beautiful space. Got shade netting. I really like the white pillar. And just comfortable, you know? Little table, little chair. This is very nice and I'm going to do this underneath my shade clothing, uh, cloth because nice and level for chairs and table. Just to be able to sit outside. Yeah, so that's going to be my next project. Got some inspiration. And this is a beautiful view as well. Look at that. It's lovely. There's a veggie bed, onion, some, I think, peppers or I can't really tell zucchini probably and Emma Emma with her bone <laughs> so happy smudgy drinking from the lake water I don't know why she chooses the dirty water she's got perfectly good clean um, I want to say tap water, but I guess tap water is not super clean either, is it? <laughs> no, but I think lake water is more dirty. I guess she prefers the natural water. Crazy cat, her relaxed dog. Hey, Smudgy. <laughs> hey, cat. Is there a dog over there? Is there, Emma? Are you so chill? Okay, bye, cat. Okay, I am outside and I'm looking at this space here and I feel very inspired. I just visited Nicholas's place and he has a beautiful outside patio with bricks that are level. <laughs> and I'd like to do the same over here. So basically between this um, post, these two posts, this post and this post, so basically the square. I'd like to do the same. I'd like to put some brickwork down there and have a nice little outside seating area with bricks. So that means, of course, I would move all the potted plants, which is easy. Um, but there's this peony sort of in the way. So I think I might just build around the peony or I might have to dig it up and move it. Um, otherwise, I think the rose could maybe stay or maybe I dig up both of them I'm not really sure this one can definitely stay and those can definitely stay so the only question is really about this peony and this rose but I think initially I'm just gonna put bricks around them and figure out if I want to move them later <laughs> basically I just want to start I just want to get going I want to make the space level and a pleasure to sit outside underneath the shade and that is my current project. I feel 
very inspired to do this. And uh, Nicholas said it's relatively easy. All I need is a bailey, scratching up the post, and a smudge, eating some grass. <laughs> and besides that, uh, a couple bricks, some sand, a leveler, spade, some more sand, and I think I've got all of that. Yeah. So this this sounds good. I'm very motivated. And then I could sit here and have a good view of the veggie bed and the garden. And I think I can actually see the mountains even if I'm seated. I thought maybe that view would disappear, but I think they would still be visible. So, the project. Yay. Uh, my shovel has disappeared. <laughs> Um, I don't know where it's gone. The last I've seen of the shovel was basically when this was being um, shoveled over here from over there. And I would have thought that the shovel would just be here somewhere. But yeah, I can't find it. So I'm going to have to buy a new shovel tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to be using this little rake thing to clear the grass and weeds from this little square patch here. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use this, which is actually not meant for soil. It's meant for the pechka ash. Um, but I'm going to use it just to try and level it out a little bit and see how that goes. And then I'll get a proper spade tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm all set up. I've got my leveler. It's tiny, but it'll do the job. And I've already put a little bit of twine around the borders. So as we can see here, this tree is inside the border and I'm going to have to just put bricks around it, just like make a little half moon or something. So that makes it a little bit more complicated and it's not going to be my priority to make that pretty. Um, my priority is just to get a couple bricks down all over here. So I'm going to start from that corner and then just work inwards, I suppose. So definitely could not find any shovel, but I found my little one. So I'm going to attempt to use this and this and this. I don't think this one is going to work. Um, this one I've tried <laughs> definitely does not work. The handle is completely loose, basically falling off. So no good. But um, this one, this one, they're very similar and hopefully they can help me um, get rid of some of these grass weeds. And then this shovel will hopefully help me <laughs> dig up the rows and the peonies. Um, yeah, that's pretty optimistic, but let's see how it goes. I'm not digging up the peony today. Um, the peony and the rose. We'll have to wait till tomorrow because um, I don't have a shovel. I need a proper shovel to be able to do that. So yeah, in the meantime, <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm going to get rid of all of the grasses and yeah, just basically clear this area. Yeah. Yep. And then I'll have a nice square um, of dirt and I'll level that out. And tomorrow I'll dig up the plants. So if I can level out the square piece of dirt today, that'll be a really good job. That'll be a really big job done. So I'll be quite happy with that actually. Hmm. So Emma is of course helping by chewing on her bone. She's enjoying the last minutes of the grass in this area. <laughs> and I just wanted to show more properly that um, I'm using this tool over here. This tool is amazing. It makes work so much easier. It also helps that it rained a lot uh, last night and this morning, so the earth is really nice and soft. So today is actually the perfect opportunity to dig up this green stuff here. Sorry, Emma. But she's got another bed over there at the back, so she's got lots of grass to choose from. Progress report, Smudge is still here. And Emma is still chewing her bone. And Maya has made some progress on the soil. I'm pretty happy with this. It's going really well. 
Yeah, I'm so grateful that it rained this morning. <laughs> very, very grateful. Um, the most difficult part is these little grasses. They've got very dense roots. Um, so getting through those is really difficult. Um, the other little weeds, they are super easy to move. Doesn't take much effort at all. And here I've found an old tree stump or vine root or something. So I've taken a couple of those pieces out. I think it's an old vine that died. Yeah. So that needs to come out with a shovel tomorrow, but I can do the rest of the grasses today. So I'm digging up some grasses <laughs> and look what I found. A tooth. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can only assume that this thing is from an animal because no human has such a big tooth, right? I think it's one of those um, bones, jaws that Emma brought back from the field. Nice little souvenir. You want that, Emma? Huh? You want that? What's that? Is that a bone? <laughs> She's like, no, there's no jaw attached to that. That's not interesting to chew anymore. No, it's not. Her bone is way more interesting. Update, Smudgy's still here. <laughs> also, Emma's still here. And I think I'm halfway through. Yeah, mm, pretty good progress. Emma has a new bed. She says soil is fine. Doesn't need to be grass. This grass is so difficult. It's so compact with its roots. It takes a lot of effort to get through that. And here, it was like different little weeds, much easier to get through. I wouldn't say it's easy work. <laughs> I'm just saying it's easier than that, which is extremely hard. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's basically just like little greeneries like that and dandelions or that looks like a dandelion, something like that. And then there's a couple of random grasses like that. Overall, I'm making great progress. I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm going to finish this today. I might start with bricks too. Optimist. I am so grateful for it being shady today. Not just with a shade cloth, but I mean overcast. It's very unusual and I'm very lucky because this is hard work. If the sun was shining, I'd probably not be finishing this today. But it is overcast and Emma is helping. <laughs> so I think, I think we can finish this today, huh? Might even start with bricks. We'll see. Update. Smudgy has wandered off and I'm done. Sort of. Sort of done. It's just still that grassy patch where Emma is lying on. Yeah, so I'll wait for her to move or I'll ask her to move and then I can finish that grass. Otherwise, look at that. Looking pretty good in my opinion. Got all that grassy weed stuff out there. And now, I don't think I need to put any sand. I'm just going to level this out because it's sort of sandy in itself. Soil is sand, right? <laughs> oh, there's a Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Hello. Yeah, so Pelagonium's still looking really good. Oh, oh, what's going on? What's happening? What's going on? Something got her attention. What's happening? Oh, there's a cat up there. Just missed it. <laughs> okay. Good job, Emma. Good job, you spotted the cat. There goes another cat. <laughs> they are so cute. Okay, there's a, this vine root that I mentioned earlier. That's this thing here. And, uh, whoa! And I got it out. <laughs> I thought uh, that would be more difficult, but here we are. Cool. There's still a couple left, little little ones. Um, so, yeah. But, oof. I definitely need different shoes. But here we go. Not too difficult. Oh, I'm pretty happy with this. Great news. Now I am completely done. The, if you you can see that grass has been trimmed back there, so sort of, it's sort of in line with the string. It's in line enough. 
So this tool, this red one, magic. It did all of this work. Oh, just magic. Really great. Um, now what I need to do is I need to level it out. Okay, so here's uh, a more flat surface. Emma was lying over there, so that is not flat. And I'm pretty grateful that she gives me this perspective because I thought I was basically doing nothing, just like um, raking soil back and forth with no effect. But clearly there's a big difference because this, not even. This, way more even. So <laughs> I'm really pleased to see that. Yeah, look at that, Emma, she was lying in a little ditch. And that side over there, it's so much more even, it's great. Okay, so now I need to even out the Emma bed. I've tried evening this out a little bit more. It is more even, but it's not even. And my shoes are full of mud at underneath. <laughs> it's like a whole nother sole of shoe under there. Um, so it's not even. It's not level, is what I mean. Um, it's better than it was. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect though. And maybe it doesn't need to be, because if it runs down this way, then the water gets off it better and it doesn't pool in the middle, right? So I think we can say I've done this on purpose <laughs> and it's good enough, yeah. So that's what it looks like from the top of the stairs. The cat here, hello cat. You forgot how the fly screen works, just changed your mind. Okay. This is my charging cable. So, yeah, this is what it looks like from here. The sun is already at a low angle. It's around about half past five right now. So the sun looks high, doesn't it? But look how the shadow or the sun falls. The shade falls way over there. And the sun is underneath the shade cloth, so. Yeah, it's quite a low sun, but that's easy to solve. I'll just get some shade cloth and put it over there. No problem. Um, right now I need to focus on getting some bricks. And yeah, I'm gonna start piling some bricks. Uh -huh. 